Hello there, my name is Ismaus and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create ice cubes or ice material in Blender like you see here. Uh, so this is easy and let me just zoom into these materials so you can see how uh, those ice cubes look and uh, you can also use this technique to make uh, ice on a glass uh, like this and uh, see also looks good. Let me show you some renders, test renders I did for cycles uh, so that you can see uh, this is, you can see how they look here. Some of them there. And I think this here uh, looks quite nice, and uh, you can see that as well here. Uh, you can see some of those ice cubes here as well. Yeah, so let's dive in and see how to get to do that. But by the way, you can watch uh, the entire time lapse of how I made this project, uh, this uh, uh, whisk in a basket in a bucket. Uh, project with also making this glass and uh, the fruits on my second channel Blender templates and you can also download the project files on my patreon page or on my CG trader account I'll leave all the links in the description. So let's dive in and uh, see how to set up this uh, Ice cube material. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, start with a with an ice cube. So let's add a cube let's Scale it down a bit we'll go to edit mode and uh, we can subdivide this a few times then add a subdivision surface and then just to have the shape look more organic we can add a displacement modifier with a noise texture the noise noise actually a clouds texture just have to increase our scale and reduce the strength just so uh, the cube looks like it's melted. Now to create the ice, I just have to give this. You can just use the glass shader or shader glass. And uh, we can go to the render settings. You don't have to do this if you're going to use cycles, but uh, if you're going to use EV, you need to turn on screen space reflections and refractions. And, uh, you can also make sure you have half blend turned on. You can turn off back facing for now to make sure you have screen space refractions uh, turned on. Now to make it look like re actual uh, ice cubes, all you have to do is add a noise texture for the roughness and the displacement on the map. So to do that, we're going to add a texture, noise texture. Now if we preview this and see what we have, just scale this uh, so we're going to need two versions of uh, the noise a uh, one with a small uh, low frequency noise and the one with a large frequency noise so uh, i'm going to duplicate this just uh, scale it up a bit now what i'm going to do is also mix the two blend the two using the uh, mix rgb node so i'm just holding down ctrl shift and then drag into the top node uh, to blend the two like that and i'm going to use uh, the color burn then we can fit this into a bump bump node uh, so that we can produce a normal out of it and uh, what we get let's just give it a moment to compile is some ice cube so then we can reduce this the height and I also fit this into the roughness and uh, that should give you some nice ice cubes and see how they look wait now we can duplicate this a few times some lights you can see how they capture nice specular highlights so how this is going to look in cycles I think uh, these are nice ice cubes. Just uh, give this a uh, darker material so that our ice cubes can stand out. And uh, if you want, let's just uh, do this. You can even add some melted water here and uh, the way you do that you can just uh, 
add a plane, give it a subdivisions, and also give it uh, a solidify modifier. Solidify modifier, like so. Just make sure it's above the subdivisions. Maybe you can increase the subdivisions to something like uh, three. Now you can shape this to into whatever you want. So. I'm going to give this a quick render and I'll come back with the results.